Hi there. Welcome to Storytime Online. I'm Mrs. Ferris from Wood Library, and let's see what our theme is today. I'm not sure I can tell. Are we going to hear stories about a clown? About the circus? Hmm. Colors. You're very colorful. Well, could you whisper and tell me? Oh. Did you look at his buttons? Are they square buttons? No. What kind of buttons are they? They're circles, aren't they? We're gonna hear stories about shapes. So let's get started with our first book called The Shape of Things. This is written by Dale Ann Dodds and illustrated by Julie Lakeham. And it's published by Candlewick Press. Oh, look at all those shapes. Let me move over just a so you can see them all. I see circles and squares and diamonds and rectangles. Let's find out more. Oh, I see a clown too with a big red nose. Now this is what shape? A square. A square is just a square until you add a roof two windows and a door, and then it's much, much more. What shape is this? Did you say circle? A circle's just a circle until you add some lights. Chairs high and low and round and round they go. Do you see they're going round in a circle on the carousel? And what shape is this? It's got three sides, three. So it's a triangle. A triangle's just a triangle until you add another, an ocean and a sky and a seagull passing by. Do you see that triangle plus another triangle turned into a sailboat? And what do we have here? A rectangle. A rectangle is just a rectangle until you add some more. An engine and a track and a red caboose at the back. Ooh, a train. And this shape, it looks a lot like a circle, but you see it's wider than it's tall. So that's an oval. An oval's just an oval until you add a nest, a wooden house, and then a patient mother hen. Where she's, she's sitting on her egg, that's the oval. What other shapes do we have? This one has four sides, but they point, don't they? This is called a diamond. Kind of like what they play baseball on. This would be home plate, First base, second base, third base. A diamond's just a diamond until you add some string, wind and a tail, and some friends to help it sail. So a diamond turns into a kite. A shape is just a shape, but look again and see. Can you see all the different shapes? There are shapes of every kind. How many can you find? There are lots of them there. All right. Well, shall we do a finger play? I don't know if I know any about shapes. Hmm. Actually, I do know one. Can you make a fist with your hand? We're going to pretend your fist, round like it is, is a turtle shell. I have a little turtle and he lives in a box. He swims in the puddles and he climbs on rocks. He snapped at a mosquito and he snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito and he caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. 
but I caught another book. And this one is called Lots of Dots. That rhymes. This book is written by Craig Frazier, and he also did the illustrations, which look to be very colorful. And it's published by Chronicle Books. Some dots are big. By the way, a dot is a circle. Some dots are small. Some dots float. Some dots fall. Some dots are for going. There's a green light. And dots for licking. Mm. Dots for snacking. Do you ever like to snack on peas? And dots for kicking. Some dots are heavy. Some dots are light. Some dots are colorful. And some dots are bright. There are dots on shirts. You see the buttons? And dots for the sun. Also sunglasses to protect your eyes from the sun. Dots that smell sweet. And dots that are just fun. You see the dots there? With the wheels on his skateboard? There are dots on dogs and dots in the air. There are dots on your plate. You see the egg yolks? There are dots everywhere. The end. Let's see here. Hmm. Should we get our monkeys jumping on the bed? That'll be a nice break for us. I've got five little monkeys and they're jumping on the bed. When one fell off, well, he bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So fold one down. So four little monkeys are jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So three little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So two little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So that leaves one little monkey who was jumping on the bed. When she fell off, oh, she bumped her head. So her mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So there are no more monkeys, but I think we've got a sheep story. That one was about dots and so is this one. This is called Circle. I guess you can guess why, right? This is written by Mac Barnett and illustrated by John Classen. And it is published by Candlewick Press. This is Circle. I guess you can see why he got his name. And this 
it circles a waterfall. Now one day, circle, square, and triangle played a game near her waterfall. Here are the rules, Circle said. I will close my eyes and count to 10, and you must hide somewhere. When I open my eyes, I will try and find you. Square said, okay. Triangle said, neat. There's one more rule, said Circle. No hiding behind the waterfall. Square said, okay. Triangle said, why not? Because, said Circle, it's dark back there. Square said, okay. Triangle said, I am not afraid of the dark. So Circle closed her eyes and counted to 10. Can you count with her? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, said Circle, here I come. She opened her eyes. But when she opened her eyes, Square was just standing there. He pointed and said, Triangle went behind the waterfall. Was he supposed to? No. Circle sighed. I will go and find him. Circle? said Square. You are very brave. I know, Circle said, and she slipped behind the waterfall. Now it was quiet on the other side of the waterfall. Circle called out, Triangle! Triangle! Where are you? There was no answer. Farther inside, there was not much light. Triangle! Triangle, where are you? There was no answer. So she went even farther until it was all dark. Triangle, said Circle, there you are. Why do you always break all the rules? There was no answer. Why do you always spoil our fun? There was no answer. Why are you such a bad friend? There was no answer. I'm sorry, said Circle. I should not have said that. You are a good friend. You just made us worried. We love you, Triangle. Thanks, said Triangle from behind her. Circle turned around and said, Triangle? Yes, said Triangle. I sh am sure glad to see you and Square. Circle said, Square is outside. This is not Square. I thought it was you. No, said Triangle. That's not me. No, said Circle. Oh, said Triangle. Circle turned back and faced the shapes in the dark. Who are you? She asked. There was no answer. Ah, uh, said Triangle. Triangle and Circle, well, they ran very fast through the dark. Back through where there was not much light. back through the waterfall, back to the outside, where Square was waiting for them. They told him what had happened. Well, said Square, I'm glad I stayed outside. Triangle said, now I'm afraid of the dark. Circle looked back at the waterfall falling. You know, she said, that shape in the dark might not have been bad. It might have been a good shape. We just couldn't see it. Circle closed her eyes. I wonder, Circle said, what kind of shape was it? 
So then they all closed their eyes and they each pictured a shape. If you close your eyes, what shape do you picture? Can you close your eyes and see what shape you might think of? I'll close mine too. What shape did you see? I think I saw another circle. And if you like this book, there's another one about it by the same two men, all about triangle, when he plays a trick on square. Well, can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. And can you clap, clap, Clap your crazies out, clap, clap, clap your crazies out, clap, clap, clap your crazies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out, stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out, stretch, stretch, Stretch your stretchies out and wiggle your waggles away. Will you stand up to do the next part? Okay, it's more fun because we're gonna jump. At least you're gonna jump. Can you jump, jump, jump your jiggles out, jump, jump, jump your jiggles out, jump, jump, jump your jiggles out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you yawn? <gasps> yawn your sleepies out, yawn. <sighs> yawn your sleepies out, yawn. <sighs> yawn your sleepies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake. Shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. Well, our next book is kind of a fun one because the story illustrations, it's all one illustration, but it keeps building on top of each other. So let's find out what I mean by that. This is called Shape by Shape. It's written and designed by Susie McDonald. And there was all kinds of shapes again inside. Some new ones that we haven't had before. We had circle and oval and diamond and triangle and square, but we didn't have this one. Heart or crescent, like a moon, or a semicircle, like half a moon. All right. This is published by Little Simon. And I'm gonna have to hold this up closer to you so you can see that it grows. Do you know what I am? I lived a long time ago. I see two dots here, do you? I had round eyes like this. So those are circles, right? And lots of sharp teeth like this. What shape are they? Did you say triangle? And a very wide mouth. And there's that crescent of the moon. If I like this, it does look more like a moon. And a fierce glance. Did you see they, those are half circles right at the very top of the eyes. And and oh, so smooth head. What shape was that? Oval, like the eggs that we saw before. And many, many scales. Have you guessed? Do you know what it was? How about now? 
Let's see, Snake, remember, it lived a long time ago. I was the biggest dinosaur ever. Let's open it up. A Brachiosaurus. And he was made from all of those shapes. Wasn't that fun? Well, I think we're going to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes, wiggle our shoulders, and don't forget your nose. You can use your finger like that on it if you can't wiggle it yourself. Can you wiggle your elbows? and slap your knees and stretch way out and then get ready please because it's time for can you guess the flannel board that's right and today we're going to use the green one all right and this is the story i think my friend here picked it out about clancy the clown now, Clancy was a clown in the circus, and every day he put on his funny face and made all the children clap and laugh. And he did somersaults, he even rode on a pig. Clancy blew a trumpet that made the children clap and laugh too. Now, one day, Clancy went to put on his funny face. So he put on his silly eyes, And then he put on his happy mouth. And he put on his crazy hair. Clancy was missing something. Can you guess? Clancy couldn't find his round red nose. He looked everywhere. Oh, I know my nose, said Clancy. My nose is round and red, but where is my funny nose? Well, he found a nose that looked like this. And he tried it on. Clancy looked in the mirror. No, he said, I know my nose. My nose is round and red. This nose is not round or red. This nose is blue and it's a square. It won't do. So he kept looking. Well, he found a nose that looked like this and he tried it on. Now, this one isn't gonna show up real well <laughs> because it's, well, is it round? Is it red? No. He looked in the mirror. It was a green triangle. And Clancy just shook his head and said, no, this is not my nose. This is a green triangle. I know my nose. My nose is round and red. This will never do. So he kept looking. Now he found a nose that looked like this. And he tried it on. Was this Clancy's nose? No, you're right. This nose was round, but it was yellow and it was way too big. I know my nose, said Clancy. My nose is round and red. This won't do. So he kept looking. He found a nose that looked like this and tried it on. Was this Clancy's nose? No, said Clancy the Clown. This is not my nose. This is a round nose, but this nose is purple and it's so tiny. I know my nose and this won't do. So he kept on looking. He needed to find his round red nose so he could go out and make the children laugh and clap. 
He looked everywhere, but he couldn't find it. He looked in his suitcase. He looked in his drawers. He even looked in his refrigerator, but no red nose. And poor Clancy was feeling very, very sad because without his round red nose, he couldn't make the children laugh when they came to the circus. He started to walk away and he put his hands in his pocket and dropped his head. But then, way down at the bottom of one of his pockets, he felt something. Hmm, he thought, this feels round. So he pulled out his hand with whatever it was in it. And he looked in his hand and, well, what do you think he found? Do you think it was red? Do you think it was round? If you do, I think you're right because Clancy found his round red nose. Oh, I know my nose, he said, and this is it. So Clancy put on his round red nose and then he went out and he made all the children laugh and clap and everyone, including Clancy, had a wonderful time at the circus that day. I'm so glad Clancy found his round red nose. He had lots of other shapes to choose from, but round and red is what clowns usually wear. Isn't that right? Cornelia says, yes, it is. So thank you for joining us today for our stories that were about all kinds of shapes, circles, and squares, and triangles, and rectangles. That's right, crescents, and half circles. Anything else? Oh, diamonds too. And when you go for a walk or when you look around, see if you can see shapes in different things. I'm looking in the background here and I can see rectangles for the picture frames that are right behind me. There are shapes all around us, everywhere you look. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you another time when it's time for Storytime Online, right? Can you wait, Bob?